Good afternoon, my name is Austin. I'm a salesman here at Mercedes-Benz of Manchester. And thank you so much for your interest in our brand new 2020 GLE 350. As you can see, this vehicle is a beautiful polar white color. Looking at the front, you can see we have the AMG night package equipped with this vehicle. That includes painted black accents on the front grille, on the wheels, on the trim, and on the side view mirrors. Underneath the hood, we have a two liter four cylinder turbocharged engine, which makes 255 horsepower and 273 pound feet of torque. That propels this vehicle from zero to 60 in 7.1 seconds. Moving around to the side, we'll take a look at the 21 inch multi spoke AMG rims. Moving back to the door, we'll take a look at the side view mirror. Both side view mirrors are auto folding, auto dimming. And if you look in the bottom corner, you'll see a little triangle. That's gonna light up red when a vehicle's in your blind spot. This vehicle comes with the keyless go package, which allows you to lock and unlock the door by placing your hand on the outside and inside of the door handle with the key in your pocket. That's gonna work for all four door handles as well as the trunk. Uh, moving around to the rear end of the GLE. Underneath this lip here, we have a little backup camera that's gonna fold out when you put the vehicle in reverse and fold back in when you put the vehicle in park or in drive. This vehicle also has the surround view system as part of the Parktronic package that includes two more cameras on either side view mirror and one camera on the front grille. Those piece together a surround view look at your vehicle while you're parking. Open up the trunk to show you the cargo space that we have in the back of the GLE. You can lift up this door for access to your spare tire as well as a little bit extra cargo space. You can adjust the set height of the tailgate and you can close the tailgate simply by pressing this button here. Now moving into the back seat of the GLE, we'll open up the door to show you the Macchiato Beige MB Tex interior in this vehicle. Now looking at the back seats, we do have a fold down compartment here. That's going to give you two cup holders for the rear seats. These rear seats are also 40, 20, 40 splitting. So you can fold down just this center seat if you need to, if you need to pass through from the cargo area to the cabin. Looking forward, we can see we have a little compartment here. You can fold that down to access two USB-C ports, as well as a little storage area. Fold that up, you can actually see we also have a 115 volt household style outlet down here as well. Looking up, you can see this vehicle has the panoramic sunroof. Now moving inside the GLE, first we're gonna take a quick look around to look at all of the beautiful 64 color ambient lighting inside the cabin of this vehicle. As you can see, it shows up around the handles here in the center console. It's gonna show up on the creases of the trim on the dashboard, and that's gonna flow into the door panels as well. You have it in the footwells, and that's gonna show up both in the front seats and the back seats of this vehicle. Now moving to the center, I'll open up the center console to show you the space that you have inside there. You also have one USB-C port. Close that up and move forward. As you can see, we have the brand new touchpad for this vehicle that allows you to control the infotainment system. Now moving to the left side, you'll see we have first this button here. That's your park assistance button. Quickly press that button to start scanning for parking spots. You can also hit that button to access the different camera angles for the surround view system. Below that we have our vehicle settings and below that we have our favorite settings menus. Just in front of those buttons we have this switch here. That's your dynamic select switch. That's going to change from any of the five drive modes that this vehicle has. Moving forward we'll open up this little compartment to show the two cup holders that we have inside here. 
We have in front of those cup holders a little pad. That's a wireless charging pad for your mobile phone. Simply place your phone right on that pad and it will wirelessly charge your phone. Just to the right of that pad, we have two USB ports. When connected to your phone, this USB port will give you access to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Moving up, we have our climate control settings here. As you can see, there are two zones in this vehicle, one for the driver and one for the front passenger. Moving up, we have our infotainment screen here. This screen is actually a touch screen. It's very responsive, even allows you to pinch to zoom for your navigation. Now moving over to the steering wheel, you'll see we have another touchpad on the steering wheel. This is going to allow us to also control that infotainment screen without ever taking your hand off the steering wheel. Below that, we have a few switches here, one to answer and hang up phone calls, one to lower and raise the volume, and one to activate the voice command system manually. You can also activate the voice command system simply by saying, hey Mercedes. With this brand new voice command system, you can make very general instructions and the voice command system understands and can change just about any setting inside the vehicle. For instance, hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Turn the color green. Okay, I'm changing the color. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Turn on my heated seat. I'm switching on the seat heating. Now moving over to the left side of the steering wheel, you'll see you have actually another touchpad here. That's going to allow you to change the information displayed inside the gauge cluster screen. As you can see, you have plenty of different information that you can display inside of each gauge as well as in between the two gauges. You can also change the entire layout of that gauge cluster screen. You can set the entire navigation system to be displayed prominently inside that screen as well. Also on that left side, you have all of your cruise control settings. Now moving over to the door panel. You have a few switches on the door panel here. As you can see, you can use those to change the position of your seat. You also have three different memory modes for three different preset seat positions. Just above those switches, you have a couple buttons here. As you can see, you have your heated seats. You have your cooled seats with three different settings of intensity. You also have a button here that you can press, which gives you access or control of the front passenger seat with your seat controls. That allows you to control that seat if you need to move it without reaching over to the other door panel. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Austin. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact me directly at 603-669-6788. My extension is 220-211. You can also email me at a-l-u-n-t at driveprime.com.